What's up guys, today's video is on the top 5 best gaming mouse of 2024. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Number 5 Steel Series Rival 5 The Steel Series Rival 5 is a top-notch gaming mouse designed for FPS games. It has a well-built, lightweight body with an ergonomic right-handed shape that works well for all grip types. However, the mouse is not well suited for individuals with small or medium-sized hands. The Steel Series Rival 5 has low click latency, a wide CPI range, and a very low lift-off distance. Though, you can only adjust the CPI by increments of 100. The mouse only has onboard storage for one profile, and you can only save specific settings. The Steel Series Rival 5 has five side buttons on the left and a rubberized scroll wheel. There are RGB lighting zones in the scroll wheel, the logo on the palm area, and two strips running along both sides of the body. The Steel Series Rival 5 feels sturdy with its solid feeling plastic body that doesn't flex, and its buttons provide good physical feedback. There's a slight wobble in the scroll wheel, but no rattling when shaking the mouse. The Steel Series Rival 5 has good button placement and a comfortable right-handed shape well suited for all grip types. However, the mouse is fairly large, and smaller hands may have difficulty reaching the silver side button towards the front. Small or smaller medium-sized hands may not reach the silver side button towards the front when using a palm grip. Number 4 Corsair Catter Pro XT The Corsair Catter Pro XT is an excellent ultralight gaming mouse that is suitable for most hand sizes when using a claw or fingertip grip. It has a low click latency and a high maximum polling rate, making it perfect for FPS gaming. Additionally, the mouse is well built and feels solid, with no squeaking buttons or rattling sounds. The sides are slightly textured, providing a good grip, and the paracord-like cable is flexible, although it retains some kinks. The mouse has a stylish all matte black design with glossy accents on the side buttons, CPI button, and the area surrounding the scroll wheel. It has an ambidextrous design with two buttons on its left side, and a full RGB zone in its scroll wheel. However, the mouse's sensor is not consistent, undershooting the set CPI when moving fast more than when moving slow. It isn't as light as some ultralight mice like the Glorious Model D and the HyperX Pulsefire Haste, but it is still quite light. Overall, the Corsair Cata Pro XT is a great option for gamers who want a well-built and responsive ultralight gaming mouse. The mouse has an ambidextrous shape similar to that of the Corsair Cata Pro Wireless. Its short body makes it suitable for a claw or fingertip grip, but people with small or medium hands may also find it comfortable to use with a palm grip. The buttons and scroll wheel are well-placed and easy to reach. Although the sides of the mouse are textured, they do not provide much grip. Number 3 Steel Series Prime Wireless The Steel Series Prime Wireless is a lightweight and sturdy gaming mouse that is great for FPS gaming. Its solid plastic body has a slightly textured finish and a right-handed shape that's suitable for most hand sizes. You can use it with a palm or claw grip, and larger hands can also use a fingertip grip. It offers a wide range of CPI settings that you can adjust by increments of 100. Its lift-off distance is low, but not as low as some other gaming mice. Although its click latency is good, it's higher than many other similar gaming mice, which may not be ideal for FPS gamers who prefer something more responsive. The Steel Series Prime Wireless has a minimalist design and a body made of textured matte black plastic. It looks very similar to the Steel Series Prime and the Steel Series Prime Plus, with two side buttons on the left, a logo on the palm rest area, and a single RGB lighting zone in the mouse wheel. If you're looking for a similar gaming mouse that allows you to change the look and feel of the mouse by swapping modular pieces, you may want to check out the Pawnage Ultra Custom Wireless Aswimmen. Number 2 Logitech G502X Lightspeed If you're familiar with previous models of the Logitech mouse, then the Logitech X Lightspeed should be quite familiar to you. This right-handed ergonomic mouse has a curved profile, a thumb rest, a textured grip, and a small indentation in the palm rest. It's smaller, lighter, and closer to the ground than the previous models, and less angular. Other than that, the X Lightspeed doesn't bring anything new to the table. The mouse operates on Logitech's intuitive G-Hub software, allowing you to reprogram buttons, create profiles for individual games and apps, customize DPI levels, and monitor the battery. On the X Plus model, you can also adjust the RGB lighting, which offers a variety of patterns and colors. The software is not flashy, but it is functional. It's also important to note that the mouse has 5 onboard profiles, as well as an infinite number of software-based profiles. 
This could be useful for tournament players, or gamers who use their mouse on multiple machines. Switching between onboard and software profiles is easy, and both can be customized. It's not surprising that the Logitech X Lightspeed is a great product. It comes from a long line of excellent gaming mice produced by one of the premier manufacturers on the market. However, if you already own a Logitech mouse, you don't have to rush out and buy this one. But if you're in the market for a new wireless gaming mouse, the X Lightspeed should be one of your first options to consider. Number 1 Razer Death Adder V3 Pro The Razer Death Adder V3 Pro is a remarkable FPS gaming mouse designed for right-handed users. It has a comfortable ergonomic shape, but it may be better suited for individuals with larger hands. The mouse's feet glide smoothly on mouse pads and desks, and the sensor is highly accurate and consistent with exceptionally low click latency, making it an excellent choice for gaming. While the Razer Death Adder V3 Pro looks similar to previous versions in the Death Adder lineup, Razer has made several small changes to the shape and removed the RGB lighting and pair of CPI buttons below the scroll wheel. This version also has separate left and right click buttons, which were part of the outer body on previous versions. The Razer Death Adder V3 Pro feels very sturdy despite being significantly lighter than previous versions. There aren't any rattling sounds if you shake the mouse, and the click buttons are very stable. However, the bottom panel exhibits some flex with enough pressure, and you can accidentally actuate the side buttons if you squeeze with enough force into the plastic sides of the mouse. These minor issues should not present problems during regular use. The Razer Death Adder V3 Pro is extremely lightweight and significantly lighter than the previous generation Death Adder V2 Pro. It's also only marginally heavier than the smaller Razer Viper V2 Pro. It's comfortable, right-handed shape has a fairly tall profile, making it well-suited for a palm or claw grip. Razer has made some small modifications to the shape of this version, making it feel quite different in hand compared to previous Death Adders. This version has more subdued flared edges towards the front and has more shallow comfort grooves on both the left and right click buttons. The hump on the palm rest has also been moved slightly towards the inside edge, and the side buttons are a bit higher on the body. The Razer Death Adder V3 Pro has an advertised battery life of up to 90 hours of constant motion using a 1000Hz polling rate. Razer also offers a hyperpolling receiver that you can buy separately, increasing the polling rate to 8000Hz. Using this receiver with a polling rate of 48 ROG Harpay's AIM Lab Edition, you can enjoy a high-performance wireless gaming mouse with Bluetooth support. Thank you watching this video do like and subscribe.